I'm super excited to have you join us on another episode of Art House. I'm Melinda Kinlami. A warm welcome. On our lineup today, the young mind is a restless one, they say, and that energy is channeled positively with this show in Lagos. Then we move to next door neighbor Ogun State, where the older generation is revealed through this scholar's work as he shows his new technique in his solo exhibition. We enjoyed that and more after we hear from our wordsmith for this week. Our wordsmith for this week is by Omolabake Abudu Badmus, titled Let's Pray. It is a new beginning. A new wave of time will pass, and it is only by God's grace we're standing. Months and years have tumbled fast. Olodumari, I pray, guide us on this new path. Take us home safe. Save our country from mistakes of the past. Drive us to the promised land of gold. Lead us beside the still waters, we pray. Let your light guard our hearts. Our tongues might not remember the formula for the Lord's Prayer. But we know you understand our minds dance better. Babaloke, we pray. Keep us from troubled days. Revive our tongues from evil say. Gift us a change of heart. Look down on us with your immortal grace. Our ears will only listen to your words that make us bold. For this alone we pray. Another delightful treat there. Now to our first feature. Young Contemporaries is an exhibition by young and vibrant creators who show different art forms at the National Museum in Lagos. These six artists are ones to watch out for in the art space this year, as presented by the Relay Art Foundation, which has been grooming creatives and showcasing talent for many years now. The exhibition is part of the Relay Art Foundation's annual Young Contemporary Exhibition. Uh, it's a program where we identify and mentor young and emerging artists and uh, give them tools in order to produce critical works as well as move the conversation on art forward in Nigeria and as well as Africa also. Uh, this year we had like two participants from outside Africa, from Zimbabwe and from Ghana, sort of give like a Pan-African uh, vision to the entire um, exhibition. This exhibition, tagged Young Contemporaries 2022, reveals what makes these artists stand out from the crowd as they address different issues like collective identity, the definition of beauty, essence of time, and reincarnation. The title of the series is called Anko, and Anko is basically, is basically commenting on the culture of people wearing outfits cut from the same fabric. So like for example, we see it in, in twins, in twin children, 
we see it in across political parties when there's a rally they choose a particular fabric we see it in religion with um, the Catholic Women Association where they choose a particular fabric to sort of like identify we also see it in the Ashwabi culture where there's a wedding or there's a naming ceremony or there's a burial where families select a particular fabric and then they share it amongst themselves and then they cut you know their outfits from that fabric so basically this is what my work is trying to to, to comment on Painting was a way to escape my reality, really. So I would paint my experiences and paint what I'm going through. I really like hair, and as one as one who doesn't have hair, hair is like my biggest, biggest motivation. And that's what I started with these pieces. I started to be more vulnerable by showing what I'm going through and letting the world see that okay. I'm speaking for my sufferers, I'm speaking for people that can relate. Like I've had two people show me their hair here and like, oh, I have a little share as well, but they've not been willing to show it to the world or show it openly, but, and I'm glad that my pieces are doing that, really, and making people say what well, they can relate and finally somebody speaking for them. Because if you do researches, the sufferers always hide because it's not something that they are willing to show people. I'm presenting for the Young Contemporary 2022 titles um, Fast Traveler. Everybody's a fast traveler. Everybody's trying to, to change a part in their life that they, they don't really like. And for me, it was more like an episode I had with asthma growing up as a child. You know, when you are faced with asthma, there are um, some setbacks that you get trying to, um, to, to associate yourself with other children. You get some um, repelling attitude with other kids, like don't play, oh, don't play with him. He's not um, someone to, to do it. You don't know if he's possessed as a person because of um, the setbacks that I really had while growing up. I tried to go back in time because then I always said the creator, why do you give me asthma? Take it away from me. You get. So it's me trying to go back in time to stop um, the causes of um, this um, problem that I had while growing up. My body of work is titled What Was Dead Was Never Dead and uh, I was trying to explore reincarnation and um, the afterlife. So I visited uh, real families and um, you know photographed them and you know gather materials like fabrics to help tell that story. So my story is simple. I'm trying to identify the the many things in our society that proves that you know the dead is actually living with us. So I paid homage to you know um, uh, mythologies and um, you know culture and um, even literature, histories and all that, so yeah. The works of art are not restricted to stills. Some of them work on other mediums to drive their message home, and the pictures breathe life to ensure the story is told from all angles. I said, I'll always be my suffer 
my source of inspiration. My environment could be in the city or in the village. And so I do not have any form of distinguished cut between a particular space of uh, environment. Anywhere can be my source of inspiration. This is the seventh time Relay Art Gallery is holding this kind of exhibition to awaken the consciousness of the art community on the talents waiting to take the world by storm. A blend of moving and still images. Nice. The Works of Art Centre in this week also offers some more variety. And these are the Works of Art you sent in this week. Let's begin with Eitayo Alagwe's Beauty in African, done with charcoal and acrylic on canvas. Then Kofi John also has this one, done with acrylic on canvas, called Behind the Doyen. Chuku Okwala has Investment One, a charcoal pencil on paper piece. While Senatus has this one he calls Insight, done with collage and acrylic on canvas. Then Emmanuel Gareth has this one he calls Galleon Neptune is done with oil on canvas. Togetherness is a mixed media work done by Wale Omoshola. This one, called Future Focus, is an acrylic on canvas piece. While Joshua Oyebukola has Growing Amongst Hills, a charcoal and pencil on canvas work. Then Gamma Bugama is just in love with this American veteran actor with this portrait of Morgan Friedman done with black pen on paper. Then another person we celebrate in a celebrity is Kendia Folabi. He loves Tiwa Savage and he has rendered her with this charcoal and pencil on canvas work. And that concludes the works of art you sent in this week. We appreciate you as always for sending them in and encourage you to keep them coming. When Art House returns, we we'll enjoy a show by an older hand, someone that has been nurturing the future. Details in a moment. Stay with us. Experimentation is the unparalleled freedom of whatever comes to the mind of a creative in the use of ideas and materials. Fabricating Painting, a conceptualization of fabric collage is an exhibition by Dr. Peacemaker Ifeogene in Ogun State. It's a postdoctoral art exhibition, tagged Fabricating Painting Conceptualization of Fabric Collage Technique on grounds by Dr. Peacemaker Efeogene at an institution in Ibafo, Ogun State.
The art exhibition is an, um, a display of the artworks that have been carried out and to many of the participants it's, a, it's a, an eye-opener to particularly those who are not in the art profession. You know, initially many of us thought that what are they doing in art, just drawing, I go to university, first degree, second degree, going for PhD, they to go and learn drawing. But the exhibition today has demonstrated the value that is in the art and the fact that art essentially brings uh, uh, ideas to reality. It brings messages from messes, brings reality from abstract. shows that um, the artist is skillful, the artist has a theory base, he has a practice base. Um, as a peacemaker, Dr. Peacemaker, if you're gonna, and uh, I know that with what he has actually shown today, uh, in his, particularly his research, uh, the system is gonna go places, the artist is gonna go places. And that is actually what we need uh, when you have um, a mentor you know, a good mentor in a university environment that can actually uh, put all the new coming up generation uh, on a good platform uh, for future uh, leadership. And that is actually what we need in art particularly. Over 30 pieces that are properly researched intend to expose students to a new approach to art so they can explore their limitless ideas. When it comes to creative exploits, it's not one size fits all. The world is open to new ideas. That's what this art scholar is saying through this solo show. This exhibition, one, is to first of all create an environment or let's say platform for art self-expression using artistic media then also to open a new vista into into new uh, uh, grounds whereby artists from all over can exhibit their skills and talents and also to encourage the spirit of art workshops exhibitions and also to open doors into having our own gallery of uh, art, whereby artists can come here to express self. The fabric collage painting technique involves cutting plain clothes, which is placed on a surface with adhesive, without paint. It exudes brilliance and uniqueness. From what we have here is an experiment of what I, I started uh, in uh, 2004. That is experimenting with fabric collage on canvas. I call them early collages. We started in 2004, as I said. But it's uh, continued in, uh, I, it, it stopped in 2004 and uh, continued in 2014 when I started my MFA program. That is my master's in fine art, Univen. So at that point, um, I have to drop my paint and brush to start expressing self using other medium. And I found it in fabric. And it's so exciting working with fabric, painting with fabric, expressing self using clothing. First of all, from the one sourced from this tailor's shop. From there, it progressed to the final stage whereby I have to use only plain fabric sourced from the market. When we talk of painting, what we know conventionally is uh, canvas, 
and oil. Brushes. But he has actually broken into a different terrain, different genre, like a using fabric collage to paint. But without changing or adding any color, he was able to get he's able to get a lot of impressions, and that's why we have, uh, we have, we tag all the works as an impressionist approach. He expressed himself in a different manner, not common to what we have around. So that tells us that well, there is still opportunity for new artists, that is younger ones, to still use all this waste around us and convert them to things that can make our environment beautiful. It's quite impressive. Our perception of art before has been redefined. We felt before the art is about drawing, but we now learn today that it's more than drawing, it's life itself. Once there is art, there is life. And if there is no art, there is no life. So totally, we know that uh, it's an embracing word that any given country, any given nation should encourage. And I think it's a practical oriented work, which we believe it is only the area that can move any nation forward. Storm on Abraka Beach, through the Sahara too. Hausa trumpeter, Kakaki player, Gauge player, Urobo couple, Urobo dance rhythm are just amongst the works on display which aim to inspire the new generation of creatives. There's more to see, but that will be on the next episode of the program. On the next episode of the program. A combination of arts and crafts in this group exhibition. We see an exhibition by the African Art Foundation at this gallery, also in Nigeria's commercial capital, Lagos. Do remember that your art house experience doesn't have to end when the show is not on television. Go to our YouTube page, view, like and share the program. Your art house experience doesn't have to end when the show is not on television. Interact with us on our various social media platforms. See any edition of Art House on our website or YouTube page. Join our very interactive Facebook page by joining the group on Art House on Channels. We're everywhere. It's always a pleasure being with you on the program. Let the conversation continue, though, online. Just go to any of our various social media platforms. I'm Melinda Kinlami, encouraging you to stay safe and keep being creative. <music>